Hello and welcome to another tutorial from Coding Demos. In this tutorial, you will learn how you can insert a contact from your app to the and get it saved inside the inside the phones or the contacts app. Let me show you guys an output of what you're going to build in today's tutorial. So what you can see here inside the emulator, I have this simple form that consists of five, uh, sorry, four views. First is the name email and phone number and finally we have this button that has a label called add contact so when you type in or you fill in these fields with this uh, for this example I'm just going to use a simple sample data and you tap on the the add contact button then it will direct you to the the phones contact sorry the phones app whereby you can add a contact inside the contacts list and you can see here the first option that says create a new contact so you tap on that and you can see here let me just hide this keyboard you can see here the the, the values that we've passed through the from the from our app to the contact app is actually auto populated right here so you don't have to fill in the form again the values are auto populating this form with whatever things we have uh, passed from our actual app. And finally, you tap on the save button on the top here, and this gets con saved inside, the, inside your contacts list, and you're back to the original app. So, to double check that, I'm going to open up the, the phone app, and you can see here inside when you tap on the contact uh, contacts tab here then you can see this recently saved contact that we just did okay so let's open up Android Studio and let me show you how so before that I'm just going to delete this and delete that okay so that we can start from fresh and I can walk you guys uh, through this step by step all right let's open up Android Studio okay so what we have right here is two files we have the activity underscore main and we have the main activity or Java I'll start first with the XML file and what we have here as I've shown you in the emulator we have this edit text and these edit text have uh, have their IDs and I've set a hint and I've set the input type I said this because that because I want to show a specific keyboard based on the type of input that we want from the user. So the first one is a name. That's why we have this uh, input type as text person name. And with, I did the same thing for the second text, which is email, and the input type is email address, and the third one is phone, and we set an input type as phone so that we don't see the full keyboard. Instead, we see a keyboard that consists of numbers. And finally, we have a button with its ID that has a label add contact. And with a margin from the top, which is around 20 dp. All right, and the root layout is set as constraint layout. So it's pretty simple. Let's open up the main activity of Java, and I'll walk you guys through this step by step. First, we will look at the uh, the upper part, which is declaring the views that we're going to use uh, later on. And inside the onCreate, I'm referencing those views based on their IDs. And here, when the uh, when user taps, we need to call the set on click listener to react to the user action. So add content, add contact dot set on click listener, and inside the onClick method we're doing a simple checking here so what we do here is first we check that the user have actually filled out the name email and phone number before we can actually proceed with uh, inserting the contact inside the inside the contacts list so we do that here and we're using this exclamation mark which means not so we make sure that the name email and phone numbers are not empty then we'll proceed with this action which we're going to do it later on. Now, otherwise, if the user haven't filled some of the fields or haven't filled all the fields at all, which means he hasn't done anything, then we'll show this uh, 
this else condition gets executed by showing this toast message with a label that says please fill all the fields so that's clear for you guys now let's uh, start uh, building the the contact list uh, sorry the contact intent so we're going to do that inside the the first F condition here which we assume that the user have filled all the fields and to do that we're going to use intent so intent we call it intent equals to new intent and here we're going to call action underscore sorry we'll start with intent oops intent dot action underscore insert so you can see here we have these two uh, things that are related we have insert and we have insert or edit now the first one insert if you look at the right side here it says that insert an empty item into the given container which means in a, in a basic English is you insert a new contact but if you choose the second option insert or edit that means when you tap on the uh, the add contact button that we just that I've just showed you in the emulator then it shows a different kind of uh, layout whereby it asks you are you going to create a new contact or it shows you uh, an all contact that you may want to modify with a new kind of data no worries I'll I'll give you the I'll show you the output uh, by using both of these attributes so we'll first go with the insert so intent action underscore insert and we'll end up with semicolon then we need to set a MIME type so MIME type means that we need uh, this intent should only be handled by certain type of app and we need to specify that using the attend dot set meme type so attend dot set dot uh, we should get a meme type here dot uh, set type I feel that's that's the correct way let me check the documentation here so I'm referring to this documentation and I'll post the link in the description so that it's going to be easier for you guys to refer to it as well and okay so it's set type and this is the the, uh, the type that we need to use so I'm just going to copy this I'm going to go back to Android Studio I'm going to paste that here okay so we have the, the we've set the meme type which means we only need we only want a phone or a contact kind of app that can and, uh, that can uh, handle this action and then we need to uh, set the uh, the, fee the fields that we need to populate now we need to populate three things we need to populate the email the phone number and sorry name email and phone number the three things so we'll do it right away we'll do a tent dot put extra and inside here we'll do uh, contracts contact contracts which is the first one here dot attempts that's the one dot insert it's a bit long but this is how it goes so we do contracts contacts contracts dot attempts dot insert and when you press the dot then you get the list of things that you want to populate so these uh, these fields are actually based on the contacts app that comes in your physical phone or the emulator so from here you can choose which fields that you want to populate and in this example we only want to populate three fields so we'll start with the name and this is the name so I'm going to choose that then comma so we've set the, uh, the field type next we need to uh, insert the actual value and to do that we'll do name dot get text dot to string dot yeah that's basically it, dot string and we end up with semicolon so we're getting whatever value that we have inside the name in the text and we're passing it inside this field here now I'm going to duplicate this few times for the email and phone number and we'll just change few things so from name 
that would be email and we'll change this air text to email and then finally we have phone number oops phone number and we'll change that to phone number here okay now we have inserted these three fields with their values next is which is the final step and that is to start the attempt and to do that we'll do attempt sorry it should be start activity and we'll pass in we'll pass in the tent so we have the tent here now one thing that I like to uh, like I like to check and to be on the safe side of preventing our app from cat from crashing is before we actually call this start activity we need to check first if there is an app that can handle this type of action because if there if there wasn't then the app will crash and we don't want that so to prevent that from happening what we do is before we call the start activity we'll do a simple and f checking we'll do f and we'll call intent dot resolve activity that's the one and here we call the get package manager it's not equal to null and we'll just copy this line and move it on top here so what we're doing here is we're checking if this phone or the emulator has an app that can support this type of attempt then you may start the attempt otherwise we'll show a simple toast message I'm gonna just copy this copy it here and here for the message that would be there is no app that support this action I'm just gonna put this in a new line and the same thing here as well okay so if uh, if the phone or the emulator has an app that support it, that support this attempt or this action then please proceed otherwise show a toast message with this label okay I think this looks all good so let's give this a run click on the run button and let's see how it looks like in the emulator all right so the build is complete and here is our app I'm gonna fill this with uh, straight away so it's gonna be like coding demos that's the name coding demos at gmail.com that's the email address and the phone number is gonna be a sample phone number here so you can see this keyboard this is all done by the input type that we just did that in the XML file okay next next is when you tap on the add contact then okay let's hide the keyboard then you can see that it straights away opens up the the phones app and it auto populate the fields based on the ones that we have set in this attempt here so if you go back to the emulator and then we have the name is auto populated together with the phone number and if you scroll down a bit then you have the email address as well all right now the reason why okay the, uh, the reason why this when you tap on the add contact then it directs you straight away to this uh, create new contact screen is because of this attempt action type we've set the attempt action dot insert now uh, earlier earlier on, earlier on I mentioned to you that there are two types we have the insert and we have the insert or edit so this is how the insert work works now I'm going to show you the other one which is the action should be insert or edit so this is the one so I'm gonna leave everything as it is I'm just going to change this from insert to to insert or edit and I'm gonna run this again I'm gonna show you the output alright so build is complete I'm gonna fill this again and this would be the email and the phone number now when you tap on the add contact it's going to look a bit different 
Okay, now it says there is no action. There is no app that supports this action. Oh, that's strange. So contacts contracts dot raw contacts dot content let's go type okay uh, oops we need to change this content uh, item type sorry about that guys let's run this again all right so build is complete I'm filling this again email here phone number hide the keyboard tap on eye contact Okay, now it looks a bit different. So now it says that you want to create a new contact or, okay, because initially, initially one mistake that I did, which is I didn't save the contact. That's why you don't see it in the list here. But now I'm going to click on create new contact and the you can see the form is auto-populated with the values that have just passed through the attempt. Right now I'm just going to tap on the save okay code and demo saved if you go back open up the phones app click on the contacts and you can see the the new newly created contact is officially saved inside the list here let's go back to the our app again now click tap on the add contact now you can see here you can modify this if you click on if you tap on this then you can modify the details. Uh, let's say something else, some dummy text here. Tap on save. And it's saved. If you go back to the contact again. And you can see the changes has been applied here as well. So that's the difference between the action uh, underscore insert and the action underscore uh, the action underscore insert or edit, but another thing is you need to change the type as well. So previously, it was if I undo my action here, it was just content type and it was only insert uh, like this. But if you want to use the insert and insert or edit action, then make sure that you change the type as well from content from the content underscore type to content underscore item like this so content yep that's the one all right and another thing is you can actually insert so many fields that you want I mean like so many you can populate the form based on whatever uh, values that you pass through the put extra here because like I showed you so for example we have the contacts contract attend store insert so here we have the phone number which is that's the main phone number if I remove this then they are actually another phone numbers they can insert so you have the, the the main one and you have the the phone is primary which means this is the main phone number and you have secondary phone number and you have territory phone so you can actually uh, insert so many types of values inside these fields and these are all will get populated inside the contacts app but for this uh, tutorial, I made it a bit simple for you guys to understand the concept. That's why I chosen uh, the simple fields here. But you are welcome to uh, play around with these fields and try different uh, values that you can pass through and you can actually populate the form. And you have here the company. So whatever things that you, that you see inside the contacts, uh, in contacts form is actually right here as well. So play around with this, give it a try, and it's really cool. You should definitely try it out. And I'll post the link of the of this documentation here in the description so you guys can refer to it anytime. And I think this is basically it for this tutorial. I hope you guys enjoy this tutorial. Uh, thank you so much for watching, and happy coding.